Up at 6.30, get this, answering the phone actually ended up costing a man from Penrose $3,000. Phone scams, they've been around for decades, but as you get smarter, so do the criminals. Chief investigative reporter Eric Ross live in studio with what you need to know so you don't get ripped off. Eric. Robin Elizabeth, good evening. The best way to protect your personal information and to keep it safe is to not give that information over the phone or through email to people you do not know. Even if the caller acts like they already know some of your personal information, consumer experts say you should just hang up. It's a lesson one man had to learn the hard way. It started with a phone call from someone claiming to be with a computer technology company. They wanted to refund my money. They were going out of business. And they, they had made a deposit and made an error on that deposit. Instead of $300, it was $3,000. Dan Williams says the caller told him they had sent an email and refunded the remaining portion of an antivirus subscription he purchased years ago. Williams said he logged onto the computer and saw a deposit of $3,000. They wanted me to, to, to send them $3,000 back and they would go and deposit the $300. If that doesn't sound fishy, the caller then instructed Williams to return the money through gift cards. I sent them the money through Walmart gift cards, and that was a big no-no. Soon after, Williams logged back onto his account and discovered his savings had been emptied out. Now his bank did see the $3,000 purchase for Walmart gift cards, but found no such transaction for a $3,000 refund that was allegedly sent from the software company. I went to the bank and closed my account, opened up another, Went to the sheriff's department and they said it's nothing but a scam. William says he has learned a valuable lesson. I don't talk to people on the phone with broken English and I do not talk with people that I don't know on the internet. And oftentimes these cases go unsolved because the scammers live outside the state and sometimes outside the country. If you spot a scam, report it to police, the Better Business Bureau, and the Colorado Attorney General's office. We have that information posted for you right now on our website, koaa.com. You'll find this story on our homepage. As for Williams, he said he's done using his computer right now. Reporting live in studio, Eric Ross, News 5 Investigates. Boy, tough lesson learned, Eric. Thank you.